And there's some comments. You don't need the right tools. You just need to know what you're doing. I don't know what I'm doing though. So I might need some tools. So you put it in. You are now watching Farming with Duffy Ag. Before we dive into today's episode, previous episode of Gear Jammers for the show, absolutely wild. So if anybody ever gets a chance to like go to one of their shows or check them out, that was nuts. The amount of trucks that showed up, I could have walked around for hours and hours. Um, granted, we got to keep moving and, well, it was hot. Yanko was tired, but here's what I got. So as you see, Mac, Ooh, let me get it out of there. Hot damn. Black, our model, semi. Nothing too crazy, but it, it jumped out 65 bucks. Like, cool little thing to have. So someday I'd like to find a red one, but that is going to look good. There we go, sitting next to each other. So we'll probably unbolt the bottom and actually pick it up. But that's pretty wild. I love, I love finding the toys of them. So as you all know, we got these toys. We got this tanker, which uh, is custom built, the 7520. We got the eight row corn planter and the tractor that United Construction and Forestry actually sent me. So that was pretty cool. Yeah, got to have a little bit of everything. So, alrighty, we're going to dive into today. We got a lot of truck work still to do. So, let's see what we can do. And uh, appreciate you guys watching along and liking, subscribing, being part of the channel. Previously, we went to get wheel seals after we got the wrong ones. And, well, we'll see them this week sometime. So, this truck is going to sit where it is for a little bit this week. Um,. So we can run through, do a lot of different things to it and work on it. So I did get this tool to the brake springs. We will see how it works out. Um, yeah, we still got to do the other side. This side's all done. Um, a lot of people have said, oh, you need the axle nut. Okay, I agree. I was going to get it today, but then I couldn't do it. So I said, oh, I'll just wait. Same with these chrome covers. We'll get some of that. So axle nut. Um, we got an air thing coming. We'll see how that works out. So everybody with my air compressor, relax. Okay, we'll get through it. Uh, what else is going on? <sighs> I forget. Yeah. So we got wheels to do on the white truck and we got a lot of stuff to do on this. We're gonna drain all the, all the gear oil anyways, run through everything um, and fix that seal and that air leak. So we got that to do today, get that all out. Um, but we gotta finish the other side first, so. We'll dive into that and get that all the way done and then go from there. This break wasn't that bad. Um, like that actually was good. We could have left that. This one needed shoes and it had started leaking. So we are gonna clean those right up and yeah, we're gonna get those off. Previously, we've done all that. So if you wanna watch me struggle with some of that, feel free. But I don't think I'm going to video it going along again, me struggling along for that. So a lot of people did say, oh, you got to put the uh, a boot over it. I didn't even know there was a boot option for brake cans, but clearly I think we're okay. All my cans go up like that, I think. Yeah. So it is what it is. I'm not too worried. But alrighty, I'm going to do this for a little bit. I'll catch back up with you. We do got to finish painting these wheels so that we can get these on the truck and get the floaters off. We got two to go. This might not be the best one, but for $25, definitely got to get figured out more. Oh, there we go.
that's better than uh, trying to get them on with the vice grips and a screwdriver so shout out to that 25 bucks it's the little things like that in life that make life so much easier you just gotta get to the point where you're you're good with it it doesn't help that everything's covered in Oh, definitely covered things and stuff underneath there. Okay, that one's out. That'll definitely make our lives easier in the future. I hope we don't do many, many more, uh, much more truck work, but uh, you know how we are. We buy a lot of uh, older, older stuff. There we go. And everybody said, oh, you gotta get a cardboard, you gotta get this. What, you guys don't like my fake grass? I just don't like moving it around that much or getting it covered in stuff and then having to lay on it. So that's why I lay on the ground up quite a bit, but I like my fake grass. Come on, give me a break. Out here making it happen. So new brakes, new brakes, new can. I do have a crack line from taking it off. So we're going to have to fix that, but I'll show you what we're doing. But here is how this tool works. Let me, uh, let me slap you guys right up here. Is it going to be too dark there? Maybe. And there's some comments. You don't need the right tools. You just need to know what you're doing. I don't know what I'm doing though. So I might need some tools. So you put it in. Pull it tight. And that's it. So then you come over here. Put that one in. It's almost there. Might just need the hammer. Usually it helps with two hands. Put you guys. There we go. Now we're in. Take it off. You're good. So 25 bucks on Amazon. But I could get it in a day. So yeah. Alrighty. So what I got going on back here. Grab a little bit of light. This one line here, I can see it's cracked through and around. At least that's how it looks. So we'll cut that off. I think we got enough slack. Yeah, we do. We'll cut that off and we'll put a new piece on. Which it's lucky because uh, I got air brake boxes. They're all behind there. I'll pull them out, but I got them. Got two kits. One is just the fittings. If you go to US Bolt and you can order these kits, yeah, they're actually wicked convenient. As you see, I'm running out of some things, but you can hit it up and order. You can order just what you need. So, use quite a bit of these sizes. So, I got three left. There we go. Um, I guess we'll put a new one on with it. So, the more I look at it, the less I think there's actually an issue there. I'm just losing my mind. Okay, I think it, it just was out of paint, so I started rubbing everything off, and we're okay. So I'll throw that on. But yeah, a lot of people, brake cans, everything like that. Um, somebody did say, hey, the pads, the red is one and the other one, they're both the same. They're just flipped around. The red's on the one side. That's literally what they are, so there's no difference to them. Um, but as far as brake cans, keeping the actual cage bolts on, again, it's taking them off, stuff like that. Honestly, the only time I've had issues with cage bolts was on the Mac, and 
ain't a chance on the 10 wheeler and ain't a chance the cage bolts that were on they all came off but i only had two cage bolts and uh well i needed all of them so that i could roll the truck and matrano showed up and he was like i just took them out of my pickup so if they can stay on the truck they're better than hey let's throw them in the glove box let them rattle around and we're gonna lose them so that's my thinking on that i know some people say hey they're seized up and when i say i leave them on they're in the storage position so that way you can get to them if you got an issue that's the thinking behind there but alrighty so from here all the cans are done all the pads are done hardware um we got to wait on wheel seals to finish these up but we got to clean them all up too and then uh we got a seal up in the front that we got to do and we got a valve up in the front that we got to do but it is it's eight o'clock 7 50. i'm gonna get out of here um i did go to the gear jammer truck show this morning then i came home and then we wrenched for a couple hours so little things i talked to you guys for a while so i'm gonna get out of here um we're gaining on this truck like i've said the reason why let me shut my flashlight off the reason why i'm getting these truck well this truck right now ready is so that if i have when i have to make a move i want this truck and the red trailer good to go so as far as brakes um everything else i feel pretty comfortable about but brakes are my big thing and the wheels the wheel seals were the big thing and now that we're into it the brakes so the fact that we're gonna have like new new brakes all the way around and the trailer is gonna be the same way since we do have uh, brake shoes to put on well the pads to go on the shoes to go on yeah th those are gonna be a little more creative um so that that trailer is in a good place well, yeah because we will be going on adventures in life in the very near future all righty quick video throwing some brakes on talking about life stay tuned to for tomorrow a little bit left on this that we can do um we'll see if we can get the floaters off the white truck and get these finished up so we got uh those two wheels left to do as far as painting them the wheels that were on here we might clean those up too well the grease and everything else and we might paint them up and the hubs get them black again so things look good but alrighty we're gonna get out of here me and yanko i don't even know where he is he is wore out from walking around a truck show um yeah it's hot so we're gonna go get some dinner make some dinner probably because it is that time edit some video and uh keep hustling in life so appreciate you guys appreciate you guys watching hitting the merch store duffyag.com if you made it this far go hit it up a lot of you have lately and i'm telling you the quality of the work that the guy does yeah my merch guy is fantastic it takes a little while it takes more time than it, i wish but that is part of merch my brother's still waiting on his guy's shirts and he only orders like 50. you ready to go home um yeah for his own guys for his work but yeah hit it up you guys have been awesome um all the support everybody messaging me a lot of opportunity coming and uh i can't say thank you enough to everybody who's joined on the channel you want to go home you want to you want to go have dinner and hang out so that's a yes appreciate you guys see you guys on the next one have a good one